Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> Joe Cruzy here on uh, Tuesday, April 10th, 2018 at 16.25 in the afternoon, Eastern Time. God bless us all. Now, Paul just left, and I didn't video uh, any of our conversation largely because he was talking a lot about, well, hotel matters at his work, uh, which probably isn't strictly speaking confidential, but um, they don't want him to put anything out on the internet relating to his work, so... We'll honor that. Uh, but suffice it to say that it's going well. There's been a new uh, development. And that the general manager of his place is going to be also managing an associated hotel across the road. And they're going to try to use some of the current staff where he is to, uh, you know, improve the standard of the place across the road. And uh, they want to, you know, of course, I, you know, we got time about cannibalizing the current staff to, you know, and standards and well I don't know if we got talking about it I got thinking about it um, so I hope that goes well um, I also hope that if that's happening there's a little bit more back sheesh involved for all involved who are doing it over and above the call of duty sort of thing Their uh, overall sort of regional manager, like eastern half of the United States managers, profoundly happy with the way this current place he's working at is doing. Um, and he told some great stories about various, uh, well, certain guest behaviors. Uh, this outfit doesn't tolerate as much crap as the other place he used to work uh, uh, did. Uh, if you've got a lot of noisy people carrying on and raising hell, they'll, they'll, they'll sort of give them the warning and then if they keep doing it, they'll just kick their ass out. And that's really the only way you can handle it. I mean, you know, this is a lot closer to the English hotel standards than, than you know, what his previous employer's standards were. Uh, he's looking good. He's looking really good. He says uh, he's even gotten laid four times here in the last year. So, all right, Paul, go for it, dude. Um, I didn't ask for specifics, although it would be great fun to hear those stories. All right. Uh, essentially doing somewhat better than I am, although I had to travel out to San Francisco to do my little activities. <laughs> Another guy left the country. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess they're having a big inspection at his apartment complex today by the overall owners of the apartment complex group. Uh, and he says, I wonder, he says, I wonder how they're going to view the towels I've got rolled up, rolled up under all of the cracks where all the drafts and stuff come in. He's, he's got stuff, you know, lined up against all the stuff where the draft and wind comes in. Uh, uh, 
seems like uh, I didn't hear any stories about uh, the the major problematic employee at this place uh, today. So maybe that problem is sort of you know self-solved, or this guy's moved on. Uh, no, nah, it's very. Uh, he's looking. He's looking very upbeat. Looking very good. Excellent. That's great. Um, yeah. Good. Oh, uh, he forgot to bring his clothes over to wash. He said, "Oh, I said, where's your clothes?" You know, when he came in the door, I said, "Where's your clothes?" He said, "Oh, I left. I forgot." Them. I don't know. He might come over later. Uh, uh, in the week, uh, in the evening to do those things, which is fine. Always welcome. Uh, yeah. So that's the latest Paul report. I would have recorded, well, again, like I said, you know, I couldn't really, you know, he's talking about, I didn't know whether he was going to let something slide that he couldn't talk about, so. Uh, plus he was talking very, very quietly. Uh, I can barely hear him sometimes. He's very subdued. I mean, uh, this is the most relaxed and subdued I've seen him in a long, long time. Good. Good. Meanwhile, I got, I got three really great hate comments on my video from yesterday. Uh, largely relating to, largely relating to my uh, physiognomy. Uh, uh, one says I was very disgusting and should just, you know, go away and, okay, fine. Actually, uh, I think it's, it, I think it may well be the same guy operating under three names. Uh, one of these guys had left sort of a quasi-hateful thing on a video here, oh, about a week or two ago. Uh, and I thanked him for his interest. And I even went back and subscribed to his channel, which may be a faux channel or a real or a ersatz channel. I don't know, uh, but uh, uh, so much for uh, you know a mild answer turneth away wrath. You know. <laughs> so I had a little laugh, and then I completely then deleted their comments and blocked them from commenting ever again on my channel. Um, so I'm, I'm sure it's got him scrambling around now to set up another fake channel. Uh, I, I've seen this guy's name or these one of the, two of these three names on uh, other gay YouTubers that make videos about hate comments. It's almost kind of an honor, actually. <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, in 2013, I started doing this in late 2012. In 2013, I got some hate comments. So uh, there was one real, uh, you know. Now I'm a very, I'm a fairly religious guy, as you, you who watch me, fairly frequently know. You know, I mean, I've got, I have my cross and. I read in church, and uh, but you've got a lot of these uh, sort of false Christians who uh, it's sort of like the, the they, they they leave church filled with the love of God and the hate of their fellow human beings, sort of like where I went to church when I grew up. That's a shame. But in any case, no, I, I, there, was this, there was this one guy who was very notorious. He left eight comments on a lot of gay YouTubers. But, uh, uh, I haven't seen him in a long time. Well, I think, well, because I blocked him. I blocked him years ago. Uh, so the great thing about this one guy said, uh, he, says, he says, if you don't change, I'm, I'm going to have to flag you. And I thought, guys, you, know, you don't understand how this works. I mean, Flagging me means that I have overtly violated YouTube's community guidelines in terms of nudity and things. And I have not done that. I don't monetize this stuff. Nobody saw my cock or my asshole or anything. 
All I did was sit here with my shirt off and tell you some stories. You know, I am no different than hundreds of YouTubers that do that. So, have fun hating me, guys. You know, whatever floats your boat. So, okay, that was that. That was that little development. Meanwhile, uh, my friend from Seattle is in Tucson. Uh, I guess, well, he, he sent me pictures of his food that he was having at breakfast. I usually, I often get a food update when he's on the road. <laughs> Looked pretty good. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't eat much of this Tex-Mex, Southwestern type food, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see, you know. And he goes to these kind of offbeat places, which is, you know, these are fun. Because, I mean, the offbeat places where the locals eat, that's where you want to eat. So. And Tucson's a university town, I mean, so you're going to get kind of the funky, you know, eclectic crowd in various spots anyway. My ex-wife had a friend in Tucson, and... Uh, who worked for actually a chemistry professor, you know, that, that I worked for when I was at Ohio State. And uh, one of my very favorite human beings on all of the face of God's earth. Uh, both of them really, but particularly Dr. Lippincott. And, um, and they were in Tucson. So Faith would go down there a couple times a year and see Debbie. You know, Debbie's now dead. Well, Faith is too, for that matter. Hope Dr. Lippin caught in. It's interesting, my sister uh, also took chemistry uh, at Ohio State uh, under Dr. Lippin Yeah. My dad liked hearing me talk about Dr. Lippin so much. He came up specifically from, he drove up from Lebanon specifically to see Dr. Lippin, to meet Dr. Lippin Isn't that neat? I think that's neat as hell. Good people all around. Both the living and the dead. But I can speak for the dead because I know they're good and I'm I'm the living so I, I try to be good. Okay. Uh, and Lord, it was like 24 degrees this morning. <laughs> Apparently it's going to be a little warmer starting tomorrow, so we'll see. I mean, this stuff can stop anytime it wants. Okay. Well, that's it. I, nothing else is really happening today. Uh, they the trash down at the end of the road. It has been since last Thursday, and more trash has gone down to join it, and the Rumpke trash people have emailed me and said that, oh, we're going to take care of that. Thank you for letting us know. So we'll see. Yeah. Man, yeah. You know, oh, 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 here's a catch 22. You'll love this. They send you a bill. You know, they won't send you a paper bill anymore, and that's fine. Uh, they send you a bill and on email, okay. And then you have to, there's a link that you have to use, you know, it's like, you know, rumkeypay.com. Okay. You click it, so then you have to sign in. Okay, you have to sign in. All right, and they want your password, and that's fine. Except that your password expires after every 90 days, and they send the bills every 90 days. Which means you have to go through the whole process of setting up a new password, well, actually setting up the old password, a new, and so then, and then you have to sign in again, and so, and then you can pay the bill. Here's the way, they don't, they don't delete the bank account information out of which you pay the bill. Oh, they're very much aware of that, but for some reason they want you to go through this, like, like, who the hell is going to hack your Rumkey account? You know, it's like, this isn't, this isn't the NSA, you know, this isn't like, you know, Julian Assange stuff. It's like, it's paying your trash bill. Come on. <laughs> Don't you love it? 
So on that note, I'm going to say bye-bye, YouTubers.